Holly Bennett, I would today when you started out, you said to me that this was a five star course and you are officially a five star rider. That's right. I know I it's um I think it's one of my toughest four stars I've ever done and I was nervous <laughs> and I shouldn't be like I've played this game long enough, but um God my horse is good. You know, and I think we have such a good relationship with each other that I mean Literally, I mean, I made a few mistakes out there and got a little wrong to some of the fences, and it doesn't matter anymore. Like, you know, if I tell her to go, she goes. And, like, to go another double clean at a four-star, like, that's, I don't even know how I many she's done now. Like, she is just unreal, and she looks so good, and I'm just so, so excited. Well, this is her eighth four-star, and that in itself is one of the craziest things. This mare just seems like she could go and go, and she keeps going and going. And at 15 now, she's... Oh, 14 now. She's not really slowing down at all. She just is ready to go and, and loves her job. Yeah, she is um, one of the happiest horses I've ever been around, and that's part of the problem in the dressage because <laughs> every time she wants to perform, she's happy and wants to do it. And But, you know, like that's what makes today so fun. Like there's no other horse I'd want to leave the box on. And um, I, I'm so, so lucky. And, you know, like Buck gave me some really good pointers before I left, and my best friend leaves the box before I go. And um, it, was, it was a big day today, you know, and I have my first four-star student coming out later on today. And... Um, I'm, it's just it's, it's a really good day. Well, the Canadian team coach was pretty proud, and you always make Canada very proud, it seems, at these things. And to come back here to Rolex again and to really reflect a little bit that you started Ginny and every step of the way, it's almost like Gin and Juice is the the horse version of Holly Bennett. <laughs> yeah, she, um, it's, it is cool. You know, I got the ride on her when she's five years old. And if you told me when she was six or seven that she'd be one of the best mares in the world, I would have been, you're joking. And, <laughs> but like, there is no doubt in my mind that she is the best eventing mare in the world right now. Like, there's no one better than her. Like, she's, she's a freak. Well, tomorrow, a lot of those horses will look tired. Gin and Juice will hopefully be in Gin and Juice form and be ready to tackle the show jumping here. You had a very great trip around that course last year in the big ring, and it will be hard. As we all know here, Richard Jeffries puts forth a very challenging show jumping course. And to, to go into that ring tomorrow mentally, how do you prepare to kind of transition from today and, and get ready for that? Yeah, I mean, obviously we got to get through jog first. Um, she's little and she's easy to take care of, so I'm lucky in that aspect. Um, and I'll do a little jump school in the morning just to, you know, refresh her a little bit that we're not galloping and leaving strides out. Um, and then my biggest goal is to keep her calm and relaxed because um, I know she can jump all the jumps. It's just then rideability around. And I pray to God she jumps clean and crowd can go crazy <laughs> and she can go gallop around the ring again. So. All right, well, it's a great day here for you, and congratulations going out this very, very tricky course riding very well for gin and juice thank you and thank you to everyone that's texted and called and back home um, it means a lot the su support is what gets us around and i'm very grateful so thank you